news. Today here we've got Isaac Bloomfield from Nottingham Forest in the community and he's going to briefly explain to us about sports development and the various benefits that are associated with sport. Hello Isaac, how are you? Alright, thanks, how are you? Nice to Excellent. meet you. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, could we start off with the definition of sport development? Uh, sports development, I believe, is about growth and expansion of sport, um, get, getting it out to more people, more people taking part, so that's why I believe sports development is, and more technologies coming in and stuff like that, really. Yeah. Can you give us an example of some technology? Uh, when you're looking at this season with the Premier League, they're in goal line technology. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so it just shows the game's always growing. Uh, that's just an example of football, but then you've got other sports such as cricket, or always so use Hawkeye. Yeah, thank you. Um, how about the physical benefits of sport? Uh, physical benefits, one of them is definitely, and the obvious one, is better health and fitness. Overall, you're more fit, more healthy, uh, less chance of getting CHD, and also reduced levels of obesity. Um, but with that comes better weight management, um, more capable of living with stress and overall a longer lifespan really. Okay, what about the psychological benefits? Um, you get, I'd say from experience you get a lot of improved self-esteem. Like you always know once you become better at the game you also kn know when you've done something pretty well. So you get greater confidence as well as you be can become a leader. You're always working in a team so you always have to talk to people. Um, you could, yeah, you could become a captain, such as someone like Steven Gerrard. You have to have great confidence and you have to be a great leader. Um, another psychological benefit is you get reduced anxiety and stress, uh, reduced depression, um, and kind of ability to relax more easily, really. Um, improve sleep, because you're, well, you're tired, actually, once you've done uh, physical exercise, so you can sleep pretty easy. Uh, release tension um, by taking out kind of any worries you've kind of got or whether you're angry it kind of gets released in the game and it's kind of forgotten and then mental resilience as well. Okay, um, how about the benefits to the local community that sport brings? <coughs> um, well with local teams crime reduction can uh, be formed because they're more likely to be playing sport rather than going out causing chaos on the streets. Um, integration of marginalised communities like it can bring communities together such as that anyone can play football, as my example of being at Forest, but cricket, it's it's very multicultural now. Um, reduce smoking. People who play sport are less likely to smoke. I know you've got a few footballers that have smoked, such as David James. Um, Wayne Rooney's been spotted smoking, the same with Jack Wilshire lately. But all in all, I don't, from my experience, people who I know who play sport don't really smoke. Uh, same with drugs and alcohol abuse. Alcohol is heavily linked to some sports stars, which is Paul Gascoigne who gets um, in the news a lot, but it's a very, very rare case. Uh, reduced bullying as well, and active communities. Gets communities active, keeps the weight weight kind of thing down, really. Okay, um, <coughs> now the really important question we're thinking about here at Sky Sports News is why is sport important? Well, as I said earlier, it's same really is the physical benefits. It gives you better health, reduced obesity really, which can save cost in the NHS. Um, you also have less time off sick if you're healthier, which means greater productivity. Um, also, if a lot more people become into sport, as can be shown this year at the uh, London, well last year now, at the London 2012 Olympic Games, more national sporting success can be, can be made. More gold medals, which is definitely shown this year, especially in cycling, um, and it can improve, like increase national proud, pride even, um, as people s seem to get excited and there's a lot of buzz around the games. And also a lot more role models are formed, such as um, Bradley Wiggins really, because he wasn't really regarded as a massive star until he's won the Tour de France on a gold medal all within two weeks of each other. And more, more national role models come about, as, as well as like Jess Ennis and people like that. So that's okay, thank you very much. Thank you, cheers.